Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the MSI laptop keyboard LED issue. So the issue is that only the keys light up that are associated with FN. So the other keys won't light up even after you turn up the brightness or load on the brightness. It won't just light up, right? So that's the issue. So the main issue associates from the Dragon software. Okay, step one, everyone should watching this video should have this software installed if you do not have it I will leave a link in the description below so the issue is when you go to support these are all the drivers that you can install right this driver still still series engine 3 um, is the driver that handles the keyboard LEDs right so most likely the issue exists in your laptop or computer is because the drivers have not been updated so one way to fix this is okay here's a step-by-step -step procedure step one download and install steel series engine 3 okay I'll leave a link to this uh, software below so this is this is the so, uh, website you should download uh, the Windows version I'm sure because MSI Windows right download the Windows version install it so download and install it step two would be to uninstall the steel series i know this seems a bit weird but this when you do, when you when you uninstall the steel series engine 3 again it will automatically remove it from the dragon center uh software so this will be removed from here so it, it will be forcefully removed from the dragon center msi dragon center so the next step is to restart your computer okay restart your computer step 4 after restarting your computer open dragon center and install steel series through the software you should install steel series engine through this software okay so when you open up dragon center press come to go to support and press scan and it will detect of obviously it, it's not it won't show on my screen but when you do this step it will detect that the steel series engine is missing so you should select it uh, select the steel series engine 3 driver and install it okay so once you have installed that the windows would will automatically detect that a new driver has been installed and it will prompt you to restart the computer one more time so after you do that do that as you can see on the screen the issue will be resolved i'm sure the issue will be, will be resolved so this is one way i have found out on how to fix the problem so guys, if this video was helpful in what you were looking for and it helped you to solve your problem, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.